Hi everyone, welcome once again to another tutorial session in bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you a quick way you can use to set up some tools and run it on your PC. So what we are going to do is that we are going to download a binary file and then use that right away. So that's what we are going to do. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, you need to have a Linux system. That is what you need. So let's go to the download page and then just get it done for us. So there's a page and then I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So some tools together with other utilities have been packaged into what we call the BWA kit, this particular um, kit here. So what we do is that we download this particular file here and then we can extract the some tools binary from it and then use that. So that is what we are going to do here. So let's proceed. So this is the latest by the way, so I'll just use that. And by the way, if you are a Mac OS user, there are other approaches to install some tools. You can use Anaconda, you can also use um, the source code. So all those approaches work for both Mac OS and then Linux. But this one here, because the name is Linux, um, I suspect the binary is only compatible with Linux platform, but you can also experiment and see if it works with Mac OS or not. So let's proceed. So I will just download here. You can click to download or you can also use the download link, but I will use the download link. So I'll just right click and then just copy the link. That is what I need here. So I'll go to the terminal now to proceed. So here, what I'll do is to download the file. So I'll use widget. So I'll say we get, and then I'll use this option here. And this option, yeah, this option here, you don't need to use it on any widget activity. But when I tried widget and then supplied it with the link, I got some message error message. So the recommended solution was to add this particular option. So I'll just add it and then paste the link as well here. So this is a download link for the file. So with this approach, when you download, the file will have this name. So to avoid confusion, I'll just give it a name so that once it gets downloaded, we have this name um, available. So we use this to get it. So what we are doing is that we are downloading and then renaming at the same time. So I'll just say, BWA kits dot star dot bz2 and then I'll just download it. So let's do it. Perfect. So it's done for us. So let's check it out. Do an ls and you see the file here. So I may mention that there are other utilities also there, but our interest is in some tools. So I will need to get a part of some tools and then use that. So I'll need to get the contents for this here first. So let's get the contents of this file. So we use a tar utility. So we say tar t f v and then we specify the file. Perfect. So this will give us the contents of this particular file. So we have lots of content here. So what we want to do is to be specific. We just want the path for some tools. So we say tar t vf and then we specify the file again and we use the grep command to limit to just the part of some tools. So this is it, and then we run it. Perfect, so this will give us the part to the some tools in this particular file. So there's the part, and this is what we need. So now let's extract the some tools binary. So we say tar x fv, and then we specify the file again, and then we specify the path here. That is bw.kit slash some tools. And then we run it. So this will extract only the some tools binary file. So do an ls and you will see this directory there. So ls 
into that directory and you will see some tools there that is what we need okay perfect so from here you can just call some tools so you can just say uwa.kit slash some tools and this should run some tools for you that is it so i clear the screen and then we proceed so we have it there okay so that's about it let's just repeat it again so i say bwa.kit slash some tools and then this will run it for you now with the current approach we have to specify the four parts of the sum tools binary so now if you do this sum tools it will say command not found but this is what we want because we want it to be convenient for us with the approach we use where we specify the four part it can be problematic if you are in different directories so what we want is to issue just some tools here and then the command should be issued for us successfully and so what we are going to do is that we are going to set a path to this directory here and then once we set a path all that we need to do is to just call some tools here and then this we get it done for us so we are going to do this first of all we also need to organize the file we need to make it properly organized so we need to get a four parts and so what i normally do is that i have a directory where all my tools are placed in so that it becomes easy to locate them so i'll create a directory called make the apps and then i'll move this directory there but because we are dealing with some tools i also want to rename this file okay um yeah this directory here so i'll move and rename so i'll say mv dash vein bw.kit and then when i move i'll say apps slash some tools so i'll move it there perfect so now I'll do an ls apps and we see some tools so do an ls apps slash some tools and you have your file there perfect so now let's get a full part for this binary so i'll say cd apps slash some tools and then i'll do pwd to get a full part this is what i need perfect so now i'll cd back to my home directory and then i am going to modify the dot bash rc file that is what I need to modify. So first of all, I'll make a backup of it. So I'll say cp dot bash rc and I'll say bash rc dot back. Perfect. So now I'll modify it. So I'll say nano. I'll use nano, but you can also use vi. These are all text editors. Okay, these are all text editors that we need. So you see nano dot bash rc and then i'll scroll down and then i'll add this export command here so i'll say export path equals dollar path and then i'll add the path to the sum tools so mine is here so the dollar part here Means that we still want to retain the initial parts that were set for other files and then we add the some tools there so that's what we are doing here after that we can exit so we save and then exit this particular interface perfect so now what we need to do is to open a new terminal and then we can run some tools there so let's open a new terminal so let's check it out here perfect so type some tools and then you have it there nicely for you so this is how we do it let's clear the screen and then just proceed perfect so that is what we have so this is how you can quickly download and then just run some tools so these are things that you need to know and by the way if you want to extracts all the contents of this particular file you can also do that so you can see tar x 
FV, and then you specify the file. So this will extract everything for you. And then you can check out if some of these binaries are also um, good for you or some of these binaries are also useful for you. So just look at it here. So just do an LS. So LS into it. And you see all these binaries there. So you can even see BW, you can see CTK, Trim Adapt, and all those things. So just check the ones that you want and you can just set them up. So you can set them up using the same procedure we just did. So that's it. So that'll be all for this tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.